YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday, big hug to everybody. I'm really excited. It's just the weekend. It's gonna be beautiful. I got the AC rolling here in the shop. I cranked actually. It's nice and cool in here. It's pretty hot outside. It's gonna reach the mid 30s today, so it's gonna be pretty hot. Anyways, um, I got an email sent to me, a long-winded email from some of uh, 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 a woman who watches me from the Dallas Fort Worth area, and she's saying, "Yeah, Mike, even the houses that are." Two to three hundred thousand are dipping here, so the homes in Dallas went up to three hundred thousand. And when we talk about a home, we're talking about a home like this, like a big, nice, spacious home, brick uh, attic, and like like a nice. I'm not talking about like the homes in Vancouver, like like I'm talking about like a nice home with land and everything. So let's see what we got here. Does the June dip in home sales signal a new direction for Dallas Fort Worth housing market? June home sales. Numbers north of Texas made me do a double take. So it's like, whoo, 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 whoo. Pre-owned home sales in the area are down by the biggest year-over-year -year percentage in four years. Okay, it wasn't down much. Just 3% drop from 2017. Hold on a second. Hold on. Australia, uh, not Toronto, Australia, Vancouver, they're down 0 0.03%. And that's a huge take on that because you wouldn't know why when you pay a million and two million dollars for a house and it goes down half a percent or a quarter percent, you're underwater. But when it goes down three percent and you pay three hundred grand for your house, eh, it's not too bad. Three percent drop from 2017 record high pre-owned homes. But for the last years, the only direction das uh, Dallas Fort Worth housing market is known as up. Maybe that's changing. All good things come to an end, and there are more signs that our runaway housing market is hitting the ceiling. Years of rising home prices in this year's higher mortgage rates are starting to drag on the pace of home purchases in North Texas, housing analysis says. Maybe we are seeing the beginning of a slowdown of a hyper growth Dallas has had in the last six or seven years, said Dr. James Gay. Wait, six or seven years, uh, uh, member? Bailins, uh, sorry, bailouts, not bailins, bailouts, and and uh, stimulus packages, low interest rates, and the housing market went up, but it didn't go up like it did in parts of Canada and Australia and New Zealand. So let's continue here. And Dr. James, chief economist, real estate center of Texas A and M University, we've been kind of expecting it for almost a year now. It's gonna slow down eventually, he said. Eventually, gonna be hitting. Uh, may be getting here. If there's a slowdown, it's not so much of one. For the first six months of 2018, local real estate agents have sold over 52,000 pre-owned single-family homes. That is still 1% more uh, purchased than, this, than the record sales of North Texas in the half of 2017. But a year ago this time, the middle of summer, home buying, while well, the home buying binge, North Texas home sales were up a whopping 13% year over year. Another telltale sign is the Dallas Fort Worth home market headed this year is the rise in homes in the markets. Almost 25,000 homes with for sale signs in the front yard is the largest local inventory since 2012. So remember high inventory levels, for sale signs everywhere. That's a telltale sign right there. Higher listing totals, the usual meaning higher home sales. But this year made those homes on the market higher priced not the affordable uh, homes first-time buyers scrambled to find. There is still a huge shortage of homes under 250000 So 250000 you, you can still find them. There's a shortage. But watch, the ones that went up to three hundred, they're all they're all dropping like flies. Uh, Gain, uh, Gain said that June's da Dallas-Fort Worth home sales dip is worth watching. It will be a few months before he made another analysis and can figure out which way north, of uh, which way north Texas is heading. Housing market is headed. It's not necessarily that the market is going bad, he said, but uh, almost double-digit price de increases and increases in sales volumes were going to, to slow down what we think. You are going to be seeing small negatives year-over-year -year basis, just like in London, guys. Small negatives that would put the Dallas-Fort Worth home market back on where it was in 2016, which had hailed as one of the best years ever, so not so bad. Indeed, the slowdown of pace of growth in North Texas has residential market is probably a good thing. 
letting out some air will prevent this bubble. So that's good. They're preventing this bubble from going crazy. The market may be returning to normal level growth, Gain said. It can be increasing at a rate it is uh, at a rate that is for that it was forever. Peggy Ship, regional director with the housing analysis Med, uh, uh, Meta st uh, Study Inc. agrees. There's a shift underway. This is more of a balanced market, Ship said. It much more sustainable as we continue to later innings in the cycle versus where we were before, which was out of control. Watch for July home buyers to see where the trend is headed. If July sales total up 10% for the year, we can brag that the boom is back. But it's not. It's less than 3%. So what's happening, guys, in Dallas-Fort Worth? It's very interesting. Uh, the average $160,000 home went up to 400000 And because, because they raised interest rates at the right time, the average medium American house will still be under $166,000. Average benchmark price across the across the country should be roughly under $166,000. Dallas-Fort Worth is a great example of this, and it shows. And like I said, it's you can still have a tough time finding a house under two fifty, but but you're still getting your land, you're getting your three four bedrooms. You can still you know if you go maybe a little bit northeast of Fort Worth. You could still pick up something under two hundred thousand with with uh, with a lot of land that you could, with a well, and and hookups. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. America did the right thing. They raised interest rates early enough to catch this stupid takeoff housing thing. They should have raised interest rates six months earlier uh, than they did. But the problem is Obama was still in office, so they couldn't do it. They had to do it when Trump was in office to make it look like Donald Trump's screwing everybody. Up, so if he's in power and the market crashes because the interest rates went up, they just blame him. But no, it's working, it is cooling down their markets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.